Hey guys, it's Marshmallow Girl. Welcome back to Dominique Pompolous. One of the strangest games I've ever played. Uh, right now we're talking to Casey Bingham, and he just said that Prudence wants him dead for some unknown reason. So let's just, I guess, jump right back on into it. I hear you posed as Devin Van Dung's boyfriend and helped pay her way to college in exchange for information on Prudence. Devin's a good kid. She's gotta get out of town and away from that horrible monster woman. I met that old lady who waters your plants. Ms. Pendergast, was it? What are you talking about? I don't have anyone watering my plants. Really? Because I could have sworn. Huh. So you don't know anyone called Ms. Pendergast? No, sorry. This is getting weirder and weirder. Where's your lawyer, Casey? He disappeared about two weeks ago. I've looked everywhere, don't know where else he'd go. Something must be going on. He wouldn't just be gone. Prudence has to be behind this, I am sure. You think Prudence has something to do with your lawyer's mysterious disappearance? She's out to get me. There's no other explanation. May I ask what you're doing with my thesis papers from college? You mean, those are yours? You're that Dominique. How do you pronounce your last name? Pomplamoose. And those papers were stolen, by the way. Where did you find them? They were in Prudence's files. They were buried in a pile. I thought they'd give me answers, so I took them. So Prudence stole my research. All that work I did for nothing, and these dead-end jobs I've had to take. It was all her doing all this time. Your voice. What happened to it? Why do you sound like some kind of robot? You don't recognize auto tune? Well, you see, this tie I have to wear. Lately, now I can't turn it off. I'm kind of scared. Listen, you gotta help me. This tie, it's choking me. Gonna kill me if I don't get it off and soon. Look, it's been a really long time and that was supposed to be a prototype. It was never meant to be used by... Please, you're the only person who can... Tack. Okay, let me think. What if you just... Yeah, can't breathe. Losing. Ah! <laughs> Is he dead? I think he's dead. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? I'm so sorry, Casey. Never meant for this to... Pimple brain. Miss Rathbone? That's Officer Rathbone to you, you good-for-nothing murderer. I've been watching you for a while now. Murderer? Hey, I know it looks bad, and it's going to sound like the biggest cliché ever, but I can explain. Ha! You can explain in your cozy new jail cell. The good news is, it'll be a luxury resort compared to that dingy apartment of yours. You're throwing me in jail just like that? That's not fair. I have rights. Wait, I don't still have to pay the rent, do I? Shut up, Pimplemoose! 
Dominique, you're in over your head. Dominique, you might as well just lie down and go to bed. Dominique, Dominique, Dominique. Whoa, hey, Pimple Cakes, you've got a visitor. Hello, Fritz Fleischer, or should I say, Dominique Pomplamoose. Wait a minute, so you're not, I mean, you can... Enfilamphory, P.I. Hope I have didn't come across as weird. I was hired by Mr. Bingham when his lawyer disappeared. That phantom woman is bad news if you hadn't already guessed. It was her who framed you for murder so as to keep you dispossessed. You don't happen to know what happened to the real Fritz Fleischer, do you? Missing. Presumed dead. There's foul play at work here, I tell you. I'm keeping these to myself for now. Okay, hold on. So you're saying Prudence Van Dung framed me? You must know now as well as I that it was your research she poached. Should that knowledge become well known, she will surely be reproached. Now, if you can get out of here and gather all your proof, that crook will be the one in jail faster than you can say poof. So you're absolutely sure I was framed by Prudence? Well, either that or you actually did go in there and strangle the poor boy to death. Fair point. How am I supposed to get out of here? Are you bailing me out? Regrettably, I can't afford to. Times are tough all around, you see. But if you can get past one crooked cop, well, that'll be the key. Speaking of keys, take this one I found in Mr. Bingham's possessions. And with that, I'd better scurry off as it's the end of my visiting session. Dominique, you must get out of here. Dominique, there's nothing left to lose or even fear. Come on, Dominique. This key has some kind of a star shape to it. Sadly, it isn't the right shape to get me out of jail. You must go to the bus. Jail cell toilets are incredibly awkward. I feel oddly exposed, and the sink's at an unnatural angle on purpose, I suppose. To top it off, it's leaking. How do people sleep on beds like this? It smells like dirty socks, and the mattress is incredibly lumpy, probably made of rocks. I'd rather use the floor. find myself in the slammer alone with my thoughts, most of which aren't even good ones, brain starting to rot, and there's not even internet. I most definitely, and even if I did, I'd probably slip and fall going near this thing. I most definitely, and even if you slip and fall and hurt yourself, and I thought my grief of in here. These bars are all that's keeping me in here Well, that and the police And who knows, maybe they have guard dogs All covered in fleas But I'll deal with them later Hey, what's all that racket about? Hey, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the toilet's leaking Is it? Okay, let me have a look is that something an officer would normally do? Don't even think. Don't even. <laughs> Still fun. Don't worry. Officer, 
loves a rat. Why? I'm keeping that to my. Don't want it. Can you check the toilet again? For I'm worried about bacteria. Fine. Not now. I don't even. It was prudence who had to find this out after I've long since given up on my academic dreams. He doesn't look like he's fixing it's fine. I don't see the pro. Oh, I wait to see if I can get him to slip in the water. Officer Rathbone, you there? What do you want, Pumpernickel? Can you check the toilet again for me, just to be sure? I'm worried about bacterial infections. Fine. Not now. Not now. It's fine. Officer. What do you? I'm keep. Don't want it. I'm innocent. You should be putting Prudence Van Dung behind bars. She's the one who framed me. Baloney. Prudence Van Dung sent me to keep an eye on you. Said she knew you'd try something funny. Officer Rath? What do you want? I don't have a prayer of getting out of here, do I? Nope. <laughs> Officer Rath? What do you Do we ever get to go out, you know, for exercise and such? Well, we used to do thriller dance lessons, but they've been on hiatus since the budget cuts, so no. Can I maybe get a musical instrument in here, like a harmonica or something? I feel a sudden urge to play the blues. Let me see what we have in the back. Are you serious? This is all I found. Is it a bagpipe? Uh, thanks. Now it's my 
chance. It's Robin. Everything is going according to plan. No more pop stars poking heads about. And that pomplimous character out of my head. Oh! Well, well, Prudence Van Dung. I cannot understand it. This cannot be real. You're supposed to be safe in jail away from here. I am onto your game now. I know why it was framed. Don't deny it, Prudence, if that's really your name. Such an accusation. Don't be such a goof. But if you're truly serious, do you have any proof? Prudence's bust is still here with its own. Hey, I wonder what happens if I insert this key that is also conveniently star-shaped. What's this? My original prototype! You were using my work to damage Casey's voice. You got rid of us both before we could make noise. This bow tie over here you hid inside your bust, making voices and tunes exactly what it does. Like this. Oh, but how can anyone know the bow tie was your work? For all anyone else knows, it could have come from anywhere. See, it says right here that this is my research. Years ago it was stolen, left me in a lurch. Oh, look at that, you figured it out. But before you rush to judge me, let me explain. I was but a poor single mother, working several thankless jobs. I saw a perfect opportunity to rise above the rest of the slobs. I did it all for my daughter. What are you doing in here? Can't you see I'm busy with Mr. Pomplamoose? She's Miss Pomplamoose, Mother, and you're always busy. Just hear me out just this once, and I promise I'll never bother you again. Wait, wait, did either of you actually ask me what I prefer to be called? Because I don't remember ever. All right, Devin, what do you have to say to me? Make it quick, please. I don't have all day. indiscriminate murderer. Sure, the job market's tight, but I'm not giving up on my sense of moral decency. I should take the evidence I've gathered and turn you in. I 
figured you'd feel that way. Very well. Good luck with that. Wait, so you're not stopping me? Why not? Odds of the police believing you are rather slim indeed. But who knows? You may get lucky. So I brought Van Dung to justice, or at least I tried to. I'm still where I was before an underemployed gumshoe, thinking that it's time to get away. Start over, change my life, and find my way. We've come to the end of my adventure. It had some strange and unexpected twists. But I must say, all in all, that it wasn't too banal. So here's a list of people who helped make this exist. Aaron, Adam, Avery, Ed, Adventure, Taylor, Augustine, A.J., Elaine, Alan, Alistair, Alejandro, Alex, Alexander, Alexi, Amanda, Anatoly, Andre, Andrea, Andreas, Andrew, Angela, Angie, Anne, Anna, Ari, Ariel, Emma, Vaynon, Axel, Bart, Madonna, Beholder, Benjamin, Burton, Bruce, Braden, Brendan, 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 Brend